It's time again for Craig Reed, the stone roadie, the most famous stone roadie in rock and roll. In case somebody wants to dispute that, they can always come on here and challenge Craig to uh, saying that he's the stone roadie and they're more popular. But uh, we are back and we had a little technical <laughs> difficulty. Uh, hey, hi. I think... Uh, Craig's got it all figured out. What happened with the uh, with with the technical difficulty that we had that we had to miss our last podcast, Craig? Oh yeah, there was some lady shouldn't have been eating no ice cream and driving up the road, and I guess her just, her belly was great big and it was right up against the steering wheel, and she dropped her ice cream down there, and she, she grabbed it. It got all of her hands and she got it all over the steering wheel because it wouldn't go through because her belly was holding it up. And, <laughs> and she hit a pole and knocked out my internet. Yeah, that was pretty fascinating. But you going to give a little monologue for us? Well, uh, we we were going to talk about some stuff, but. I mean, you're supposed to I introduce think, uh, me, you know. That's we're, what, like, yeah, is, we're, here we comes did. Johnny. <laughs> we changed some stuff up here, so uh, we're just going to let it roll. We're just going to ad lib it and let Craig talk about some uh, some things that he wants to to talk about concerning uh, how famous he is. So that's what we're going to start off with. So uh, what you got on your mind, Craig? Well, in case anybody missed Griff's monologue, if you was in the kitchen getting you a sandwich to hold you over for the next uh 20 30 minutes yeah i'm craig reed and i'm the famous stone roadie and this is my co-star here the rocket scientist griff martin and you know it's kind of funny you know i, I like to talk about how famous i am you know no not really but we're gonna talk about it anyway but you know a, a more proof of it is i got my name in print out there at the monument site out there they put up a piece of granite most people don't get that until they die you know lucky me i'm you know i'm not gonna get buried or nothing i just i'm gonna get cremated and then i'm gonna have 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 my have, give my ashes to my grand, grandson and and when he gets older you know about 50 years from now i'm gonna have him put my ashes in little vials and sell them you know this is a stone <laughs> road <laughs> but but fortunately he's not gonna have to do that he's gonna be a professional baseball player so maybe 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 i don't know maybe he'll give him all the people for good luck like you know in the, the, the baseball movie where the guy had the voodoo stuff he can give little vials of the, the ashes of his grandpa anyway that's pretty crazy but uh, <clears throat> but it, it is crazy that if you do a uh, 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 my son my grandson he's actually got some youtube videos because he is pretty good in, in baseball and he's, he's yes. just turned 17 today actually yeah happy birthday tanner happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday yes. my grandson yes. tanner 17 uh, 17 a baseball king <laughs> he is good i have seen him but uh you know, I, I saw Griff, I was, I was broke down on Facebook and I was trying to do it on my, my cell phone and I saw where Griff said I was going to sing, but you, you know, sometimes I just start singing for no reason, you know, like I did on the bus, you know, and uh, you can pa ask Paul Abraham about this, you know, I, we were over in Europe and those tour buses and stuff, they have microphones in them. So when we would pull up and it was time to wake everybody up, I would start, I had a, a whole repertoire. I'd start singing strangers in the night. <laughs> you know, wake but it wasn't up. Southern yeah. rock. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Don't ever take, think that I, when I sing on here that I think I can sing cause I, it's just a joke. You know, I'm just, you know, I think I'm funny. So I, when I sing people laugh and you know, <laughs> as a, you know, but you know, I'm not, no, I know I can't sing, but I'm just trying to be amusing anyways. Um, yeah. So 
that monument stone now there's an unusual story about that mon that that stone and i'm i'm sorry i got talking about this me the stoned roadie instead of the the stone i wanted to talk about you know they're kind of similar but but not really but anyways uh yeah the stone uh it, it's it's mysterious that stone is but i'm gonna tell you why uh, i've always heard there's 26 people on that airplane and i don't know i counted the names on there and i count 25 but somebody said that they're doing a, a check on there and they're counting 26 on the registered thing. But whatever the count is, we're missing someone. Passenger, I always called it passenger 26, but no matter whatever the number is, there's, there's a cameraman on there, okay? And that's for, for the Pepsi film, okay? So there's, there's the... Uh, sound man on there too but there's no mention of a sound man or no name there's a uh bill sipes or something like that was the cameraman but there's there's no sound man you know kevin elson is listed on there as a sound engineer but naturally he was the he was the san uh, the leonard skinner's sound guru that fa that had that made all that wonderful sound out there that the people heard but he had nothing to do with the pepsi film so whoever that is he's missing so um would passenger 26 or whatever your number is please stand up we'd like to know who you are <laughs> you know and um we're gonna we're gonna try to get a lot of whoever we can on here and, and we've got uh, we've had uh, mark frank and 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 uh, and uh, Mar uh, and uh uh kenny peden i'm sorry uh, um you know kenny peden and he there they said they'd get on here with us and then oh i got, also got a hold of mark howard and he said yeah anything he could do to um to, to fill us in, you know, uh, uh, Mark Howard, he has a podcast out there and he talks about road stores and he actually talked about the Skinner thing and he actually talks about, you know, everybody on there has a different story. So, yeah, we'd like to get everybody together and, and even that pa missing passenger that's not listed. We I have a pretty uh, unusual story that Gene shared with me, but he told me not to share that because the FBI might show up or something. He, he kind of thinks he knows why there's no mention of that because something to do with uh, people getting arrested after the plane crash and there was there was um, rumors of uh, trips that were being made. And, you know, my, that guy might have not but been just recording the film stuff you know <laughs> but anyways we'll pack we'll go on past that but, but we don't want to we don't want to have people on yet uh because we're not mm. really we don't know what we're doing until we get 12 podcasts <laughs> under our belt yeah. yeah and we're gonna you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna move right along and and what we're gonna do is um and and take um, take um, those questions people people like to um, to ask us and they, we, uh, they, last week we were going to talk about uh, how how long we into this I'm going to try to try to keep this one kind of well we're about 15 minutes into it uh, oh gosh yeah we got we got plenty of time so yeah um, so. Uh, well, I, I was uh, I was here without a internet service the other day, and I was kind of didn't have anything to do, and I, I kind of my computer actually I got these files of my past podcasts. I've got them on here, and I go, you know what the heck? I might as well watch them, you know. And so I put on the first one, and I turned it on, and it says, uh, "This is Craig Reed. Uh, I used to be a roadie for Leonard Skinner." And, and my my son said, "Man, uh, uh, um, 
um, I, I, did you do a gummy before you <laughs> hit that? You know, but you know, I you know I know what I was doing. I was trying to figure out what the heck I was going to talk about. You know, so I was talking real slow so I could figure which way, which door to open and go through. You know, <laughs> so so you know, I tonight I started to, decided to go through door number three over there. I don't know what's. I know what I want to. I know what's in there that I want to say, but I don't know how it's going to come out. But well, uh, let me see where I want to go. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, when Bob Burns uh, uh, joined the band, and uh, no, not when Bob Burns joined the band. Of course, you know. Oh yeah, we could go there. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, you know, people. Some people think I started this podcast. Um, um, I don't know for what reason, you know, I, 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 like I said before, um, uh, I, I, st I got on Facebook and then all of a sudden books started coming out and had my name mentioned in it. And then people started saying, Craig Reed, you need to write a book, man. And I'm going, I'd have to read a book for I wrote or could write a book, you know, and, you know, and I just say it jokingly, you know, I've kind of read a couple of little things, <laughs> never a whole book. So. Uh, but anyways, um, so, you know, they say, I, they said, I said, yeah, I, I'm the most famous roadie that ever existed on planet Earth since the dawn of time. And they're going, well, you are, man, God, you was Ronnie's best friend and you you did, you did all those movies and you've been in movies and they portrayed you in movies. And, you know, there's a lot, long, long list of stuff why I even attempted to act like I could be possibly be the world's most famous roadie because I was not a professional roadie. I had a whole lot of fun, but that's kind of what kind of made me famous, you know, living the, living the life of a rock star and being a, being a roadie, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, I didn't have a hundred million dollars like some of them do, but you know, I, I, I was there when they were doing it and they were paying for it. You know? So, you know, I drove all those cars Alan had and, and Gary had and, you know, and, and I was there for all that stuff, you know? So yeah, you know, but, you know, like I said before, you know, I, I, I gave myself that title, you know, I mean, I wrote it up. I just, you know, that, yeah, I am. So I just, ha ha ha, you're funny. I'll just write up a document. So I wrote up and said, yeah, looky here. So, uh, you know, but when I did it, I was, I was actually trying to get that acknowledged in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, a roadie, you know, so I said, so I'm, I'm like, Ronnie told me, he said, you know how the first uh, gunslinger got to the, 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 the name the world's fastest gun he just went to the newspaper and printed it out and did that in every town he went to in the telegraph thing and pretty soon everybody thought he was the world's fastest gun you know so I just kind of did the same thing got on here and just said hey I'm the world's most famous roadie you know but but something happened that I didn't expect Nobody has stepped up to want me want to meet me on Zoom at, at high noon, you know. <laughs> and I've put it out there, you know. Anybody want this title? Come and get it if you want it. Here it is. Come and get it. Ooh, but it makes it last a long time <laughs> because you know there, there's not going to be a roadie that's the most famous roadie that ever existed coming out of the roadies out there today. It's just not going to happen because you can't do the things I did and not end up in prison. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're technicians uh, now, not roadies. Oh, well, yeah, we, we, yeah, you can, you couldn't no way do, you know, uh, you know, like Billy would put the, uh, fire, uh, uh, Leon put the bill, uh, fire hose under Billy's door and turned it on and soak the whole bottom of a holiday in and they had to pay for all the carpet and all that kind of stuff you know but man i'm getting way off there but where was i going with that other thing well i think you where you were going is like some stuff came up that said i that got so much doing, stuff going in my head from having those yeah, three that, days that you yeah. were putting things I, out there that weren't authentic and uh, well yeah that goes into the 
yeah, there was some stuff going on on Facebook, and and, and people were saying that stuff I sold on face on eBay wasn't real, and you know, and it all happened as soon as I started doing this podcast, you know, and it's like. I hear that people are upset because I've got Leonard Skinner attached to the title of my podcast. I mean, there's a hundred million of them out there. The first thing they say is Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner, they want to get your attention. Mine says Craig Reed, Stone Roadie, something else, and then Leonard Skinner. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take the Leonard Skinner out of there. So if anybody, I, you know, you don't have to use Leonard Skinner to look me up. You, you know, you can, uh, that's where I was going with my grandson, Tanner. T my son, grandson, Tanner, you look up my grandson, Tanner on, on YouTube and, and he, he suggested sites at my, uh, on my grandson, Tanner, all of them pertain to Leonard Skinner. I asked my son Chad if he put that in the keyword, and he swears he didn't. You know, he said it's it's in there for all of them. My microstand stands here is messing up. So um, yeah, it's kind of weird. So uh, you could do the same thing for me. Before I ever started this podcast, you could you could uh, type Craig Reed in uh, YouTube, and it would come up attached to Leonard Skinner. I mean. Uh, that that's me i mean i spent 30 years of my life 40 years of my life were attached to that band so yeah unfortunately I, I guess unfortunately to them they don't want my name attached to leonard skinner anymore i mean god i was up here working working at blossom trying to make money and i ran into one of the people that run the money machine, not any of the band members, nothing, I'm not going to say anything because I ain't got nothing to say with the band, about the band members. I love every one of them guys, and they're my friends. Ricky Medlock, Johnny, and Johnny, God bless them, man. They're out there carrying the name of Skinner alive, and, and Ronnie's up there you know saying there's my little brother like like i always said you know he's going to carry on my music it's just not the way you guys knew that it was going to happen but i knew it you know and, and god bless him man i look at my hat here my buddy um um, um don shelf out there in arizona he went to the show out there and he bought me a hat and uh I asked him to sign it on the inside, him and Marsha, and they signed the hat. <laughs> I signed one for him, and he signed one for me. But, but yeah, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I didn't start this podcast to deface the legend of Leonard Skinner. Man, that's the coolest thing, and I'm attached to that. You know, people find out I'm with, I was with Leonard Skinner, and my God, I just, I get all kind of stuff you know because of that you know but I, that's not my fault i mean i you know i mean uh, like i said i was i went to the leonard skinner show and trying to work at one of the people in the money machine went to my boss and tried to have me thrown out a survivor of the airplane crash it wasn't the band it was the money machine I don't know why, and that's what's, I think that's part of the problem with my podcast. 100 million people can do it, but the money machine finds out, oh, that he's going to say something. What am I going to say? I wasn't part of that blood oath, and I don't even know what that blood oath is. Gene Odom knows what the blood oath is. They all signed it. I don't I, I, I'm, I wonder now what's in there. What do they know? I don't know. What did the, what did, what, the, what are they hiding? Every time somebody comes, Artemis comes up with this movie, wants to do a movie by himself. They spend a million dollars to shut him up. What, they, what don't they want people to know? There's nothing that I know. Everything that I know is wonderful and beautiful. I, I guess things happened. I don't know about. Was it after the crash? I'm, I'm puzzled, you know, but 
God, I got, I, I tried to do something, and I'm, it's defamation of character, and I'm using the Skitter name, and I'm trying to, blah, 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 blah. Uh, man, I love them guys. God almighty knows what the heck's going on. You know, but I'm, okay, I'm not going to have Leonard Skinner attached to my name, okay? But I spent 40 years with them guys. I'm going to talk about myself. I'm sorry that I involved. I'm not going to say anything bad about Gary. I love Gary. I'm not going to say anything about Artemis, Billy, Alan. You know, I might talk about, you know, things that silly they did while they were drinking and my God, if I didn't, I wouldn't be telling the truth. I would, why, would, why should I be here? Everybody's heard those sugar-coated stories, you know, but I'm not going to blasphemize anybody, I, you know. I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but, you know, God Almighty knows. How long have we gone well, here? You I'm, know, Ronnie, if Ronnie was looking minutes. at you, hey, Craig, if Ronnie was looking at you right now, he'd be laughing. Oh, dude, dude, dude. There it is. You want to see, uh, uh, look, that's, that's my audience. Normally I, I was, well, before we did this, I got Ronnie looking at me going, ha, 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 you know, ha, ha, look at you, you silly son of a bitch, ha, 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 you know. But uh, I think that's great, man. Hmm. But I usually have it hanging up there, and he's always looking at me, and I look up. You ever wonder who I'm looking at? I'm looking at Ronnie looking at me. <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, where was I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, how long we've been? How long? <laughs> yeah, we, we probably have uh, about five more minutes before we need to shut it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Cool. So what are we going to talk about? Oh, let's, let, yeah, we can talk a little about, a bit about when Bob, yeah, Bob, man, let me talk fast. Bob, he went over there to Europe, and before we went to Europe, we went and met Linda Blair out there in Hollyweird, and then we went to Europe right away after that, and, and uh, Billy was uh, rooming with Bob, and, and, and Billy would uh, lay in the bed, and they roomed together, and, and, uh, and, <laughs> And, uh, and, uh, and so B B B B Billy would lay over there in the bed and he'd go, uh, <laughs> and Bob lost it, man. And he's, you know, and, and, and here we are, we're in damn Europe and God dang Bob flips out, you know? And well, we, we, we over there, we're, we're making $5 a day per diem, you know. I think we were still on, I don't remember. We were staying at the Clifford Court. It's a bed and breakfast. And, and you know, and we they, every day we'd get, the breakfast was a croissant, croissant roll and, and a thing, a little thing of strawberry jelly and something. That was, that was like, uh, like lobster man i mean when you're starving uh, that's like lobster yeah <laughs> well we weren't starving but you know we were conserving our money to buy drugs so we could find them <laughs> so, so hey, Craig, oh, hey, did, did, but, uh, did did uh bob burns think that uh the exorcist was in the hotel room when billy oh <laughs> my god man every uh, bob thugged it that was a uh, damn uh, cat i'm sure all the skinner fanatics know about cat that bob thugged out the window thought it was the devil <laughs> killed the cat so <laughs> so they they throw us out of that hotel and we went to a holiday inn somewhere and they throwed us out of that hotel and we went to another place and Bob would have another fit and they throw us out of there and we went through every dang hotel <laughs> in London and uh, and uh, oh finally uh, yeah we ended up over there at the Playboy thing over there by the Hilton where uh, where uh, Moon got thrown out of the pipe we yeah we went to them all but anyways yeah bob even thought i was a devil and he and he said didn't want me around and he said i was the devil and, and ronnie was saying this in front of ronnie and ronnie just said man craig 
we're going to get rid of him in, uh, you know, when we get home. But, man, we got Artemis. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, man, I'm, uh, how much time we got? We're going <laughs> to go about 30 on this one. Yeah, you know, my son, my son Chad, I, I was telling Ar uh, Chad about, you know, I might talk about Artemis and Bob. And, and I told uh, Chad that, you know, Artemis came to, um, came to Europe and Ronnie called Ba uh, Artemis from to over from the United States just to talk to him while we were in London but we couldn't tell Bob who he was so he was just a local musician that came to visit us but you know he came to talk to Ronnie and then then he Ronnie told him to go back and and learn our songs as well as he could but he, we he couldn't do it over here because he couldn't learn the songs quick enough. So we had to use Bob, you know. So, um, you know, that's what he did. But Chad said, Artemis never came to Europe. And I goes, yeah, yeah, he did. And so and he said, I'm going to call Artemis. So he called Artie. I, he couldn't get a hold of Artie. So he, he talked to Chris, his son. He goes, yeah, yeah, he actually he they he did they flew him over there and then uh, chad and chris that's artemis and chris they're those two and amy they're they're 50 years old i mean they're not kids and they're the ones that are the only kids old enough to remember any of this you know chris was the one that was under ronnie's legs in the picture and chad was the one chad was in all of their chad was the best man in three weddings of the band you know so you know when they're gone you know it's gone i mean everything is gone you know i mean you know uh so what I don't get out there and what Kenny Peden doesn't get out there and what Mark Frank and Steve Lawler and, and Jim Brace and, and uh, uh, Paul Welsh and, um, excuse me, you know, Gene Odom and uh, it's gone, you know, we're all getting old, you know, so, you know, if this stuff's going to get out there, it's got to get out there and it's, I, unfortunately, there's somebody out there that doesn't want me to talk or something. They're, you know, I'm gonna, I, I didn't start this, this bad mouth the band, but all of a sudden I get all this stuff thrown at me and I get people telling me I better watch what I say and I don't know anything. You know, if there's something that those guys are got to take a blood oath not to talk about and they couldn't do a book or a movie, I don't know what it is. So, you know. What are we going to do? It's 27 minutes. What do you want to do? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, did you want to like kind of wrap it up and say, how was it that Bob Burns left Europe? Did he, did Ronnie? Oh yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He fired me. And, and then it was weird because I don't even remember how this tournament event started because I would tear down after they, I, I'd set up the drums and after, after they were done, I'd tear down the drums. You know, I'd go out and sit with Kevin so Bob wouldn't see me. He thought I was gone because he thought I was the devil. But then when he, but the when the band flew back home, me and Joe Barnes, Ronnie told me and Joe Barnes to fly back with Bob and make him sit in between us. And if he gets out of hand, just knock him out, you know? <laughs> well, Bob was tough. I mean, Bob wasn't, was, was you know, he wasn't, no... He was he was known for a fighter just like Ronnie was too, you know. So he, w I wasn't afraid of him, but you know he wouldn't have been a tough, he wouldn't have been an easy one, you know. I mean, but anyways, yeah, he was on the plane going. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson on the plane and and, and just boisterous, you know. Me and Joe sitting there, going, you know. <laughs> you know but i you know they didn't even know who we were you know we were just three hippies and you know flying and well, we were in coach you know but 
Yeah, it was crazy. But all three of us, we were there for six months or so. I don't, I don't, yeah. So, we so were, then Artemis took his place and he was able. Yeah, to as soon as we got, yeah, let's make a long story short. As soon as we got back, there was things in the work about doing uh, the, the movie, um, um, the longest yard and so ed and artemis and, and leon went into the studio and, and and did a basic track for that and then they used that in the movie and then they they just kept artemis after that but, you know he was he was in the works you know but, uh, yeah all the time you know but that's kind of like squeezing one in until the last minute you know so well, I guess we can right. wrap it up now. And uh, I, one more thing I'd like to throw in, Craig, is we uh, do want to recognize the monument for that great granite uh, with oh, the signature yeah, out there. My name in print. Now I'm yeah. somebody. And uh, I yeah, much. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, go ahead. so uh, anybody, if you get a chance to go see that monument, that uh, they really, uh, they really have done it up nice out there. So uh, I guess it's time. It's happy trails time. And uh, it's time to go. <laughs> Let me find my clicker. <laughs> yeah. Where's your clicker? <laughs> I don't know. Happy trails to you. Until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Skinner's stories never end. But number eight could be done quicker <laughs> if I could find that cutscene clicker. Oh, <laughs> here it is. Now it's time to go. I want to thank you for watching the Stone Roadies show. And don't forget to hit that share and like button. You know, if you didn't like this one, you know, hit the share button anyway. I'm trying to get to a thousand because I heard when you get to a thousand, you get between a dollar and six dollars, you know. So I want to send Griff a sick check. Or, no, I'm going to pay him in cash, either 33 cents or. Was it a dollar eighty or something? Was yeah, that? I'm gonna be. Put it on the he's wall. gonna get a third. We we made a deal. He's gonna get a third, whatever I made. Mean. Because I we didn't start these YouTube videos to make any money, you know. Just let everybody know. That's what you get when you get to a thousand views, you know. <laughs> Where's my dang thing? Oh, anyways, well I can't find it. Oh, uh, but anyways. Yeah, but yeah, hit that like and subscribe button. You know, if you didn't like this one, you know, at least it'll give you a notice that the next one is coming up. And and I didn't want to ask you to do that at the beginning because if I did that, you'd probably forget, you know. So we did that. And so, yeah. Yeah, do it right so now. So anyways, happy trails to you until we meet again okay griff i think yep. uh, next one's gonna be number nine stay tuned see you next yeah, time. this but this, 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 yeah there's number nine number nine see you next time when we do podcast number nine okay griff i guess that's uh that's about it's it a wrap.